Hey guys, how's it going? DJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to a Let's Talk. Welcome to a Let's Talk and Rant that is going to get a little heated, I am sure, because I we need to talk. I need to talk about the ventures that is finishing in uh, about 24 hours, a little over 24 hours now at the time of me making this video and uh, the ventures that's coming, the ventures that is coming right after why it's coming right after and how I feel about it uh, from what they've told us in the home base status report. So we're going to take a look at that too. Uh, but I, I need to preface this by saying two things. First off, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for using my creator code. All of you guys use my creator code, DUJ2, in the shop, in BR, or buying uh, llamas here in Save the World. Or if you're buying a game over in the Epic Game Store, thank you. It helps me out so very much. It's also what funds uh, the the, give, the giveaways we do for the V-Buck gift cards on the channel and on the stream. Make sure to come to the big stream every single the last day of every single month we do a mini pigma stream uh we give away a bunch of stuff and uh the big pigma stream is coming up also at the end of december so more information on in the future but thank you very much for watching guys thank you for being here and the second thing i need to preface this video with and say is going to be a little bit of a disclaimer because i have noticed a large 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 amount of comments on my channel in the streams on my videos etc etc a much higher amount of people asking me if i'm going to they're not asking if i'm quitting save the world they're asking if i'm going to be playing something else if i'm moving away from save the world um or when i'm moving away or what else am i going to be playing or if i'm going to just let my channel die because apparently that's something that a lot of people think uh is going to happen that if say if i stop doing save the world videos i'm going to just let this channel die or i'm going to stop uploading content or something like that and for those of you who've been watching me for more than two years more than three years you know that save the world is not my first game i've been streaming almost six years now i think almost six years now uh my youtube channel is going to be five years old soon and in that time i have had multiple different main games i say main games because uh that's kind of like how what it turned out to i never intended it to turn out to be that uh, but i have had several games that i mainly make content of mainly play on streams mainly focus on um now uh, as time has gone by i either lose interest in a game or i finish a game or i just don't you know i i i, I move or i find a new game a new game that sparks more of my interest is more entertaining more fun and that's what i do for a lot of you guys you know that uh on my channel or and on my streams i always say this i play games for fun okay and even though this is my job <laughs> i i focus on it from the fun point of view which is amazing i get to have fun as my job it's incredible and if a game no longer is fun or enjoyable for me to make content i stop making content sometimes i keep playing those games uh, and then if a game is no longer fun or more importantly if there's another game that is more fun and takes up all my time then i stop playing the other game but at no moment am i ever going to be playing save the world and um, you guys are never going to see a video of me playing save the world and not enjoying myself uh, I am very, very critical about Save the World. If you go, come to the streams, you will see I say some very, very critical things. But at the same time, I have fun. And something else to please remember is that I am a content creator. I am an entertainer. What I do here, what I say here, all of that is for entertainment purposes. So if at any moment you are not entertained, then definitely I completely understand if you would like to watch someone else or or not enjoy my content. But that's how I look at it. And anyone else who, who makes other content, I look at it as entertainment. To me, it can be very entertaining to be like what we're going to be talking in this video, very critical and very, I don't want to say negative, 
but very critical and very like come on guys about a topic or something in a game in this case in save the world so after saying having said all that let's jump into the base i know we just spent most of the half the video talking about about what we're going to talk about but i think it's really important because there's been a lot of people who have been asking me to they've been asking me what else i'm going to play or, or it, it there's been some really interesting questions about that but let me assure you as long as I am having fun playing Save the World, as long as I'm having fun making content for Save the World, like this video is going to be lots of fun and enjoyable, and I hope it is good entertainment for you guys, then I am going to continue doing it. Now, I will tell you, there are some games coming out, particularly one game that is coming out in 2021, early 2021, which if everything continues and if they continue developing it and doing what they say they're going to say, it is very possible that that game is going to take up all my time. It is an incredible game. I already did a first look of it uh, a couple months ago or a month ago on my channel. And I am very, very, very excited for that game to come out. It is an MMO. Um, is it an MMORPG? I think it's an MMORPG. And uh, I am going to be playing that game night and day when it comes out. You guys are going to see tons of content for that game. Uh, but until then... Save the world is something fun. Another game that's a lot of fun right now is a Super Animal Royale. You guys may have seen I made a video about it. I, I didn't want to stop playing it. Uh, we actually played Super Animal Royale when the, when Save the World went down. I didn't want to go back to playing Save the World. That's how much fun I was having. And I and probably you guys are going to see more SAR on my channel. Definitely on my stream because it's fun. And that's the whole point of it. Fun. So having said that. Having said that, let's jump into this. Uh, right now, at the moment of me making this video, I am level 30. Oh, I'm 36. I'm level 36. I have 10 more levels to go. I have about 24 hours to get those 10 levels. And yes, I'm going to be streaming a lot. Um, I'm going to be streaming as much as I can possibly can in the next 24 hours, in the next two days, to try and get as much as I can of this. I'm going to be live when the new venture season starts. I'm going to be live uh, when Frost Night starts and all that. We're going to take a look at all that. Frost Night 2020, Winter Event 2020, Winter Ventures 2020. We are going to look at it and we're going to start right off the bat and see what has changed. If anything, the only thing they've told us is that the amount of experience you're going to get or you're going to need is going to be much less. Now, having said that, let me talk about this Ventures first. I didn't realize I was level 94 already. Wow. This Ventures, in a word, sucks. <laughs> um, this Ventures, you needed 80 to 100 hours to complete this Ventures. And let me start with the positive. Let's do the positive sandwich. Well, actually, I don't know if we can do the positive sandwich. Let's do the positive open face sandwich. Uh, so we're going to, the bread is going to be positive and then all the fillings, which is going to be a lot of fillings are going to be negative. Let me warn you. But the concept of ventures is beautiful. I love it. I love the concept of ventures. It is a wonderful concept. Giving especially late game players, veteran players, a place that they have to start from level one in a type of a sort of a um, battle pass that you have to progress to get experience and everything. But you get to experience both starting from level one, going through all this, um, find, having to find your weapons and materials. And the only thing that you can keep with you is going to be your hero loadouts. I love it. I love the idea of this. I love the idea that you can use all these heroes and all these hero loadouts in multiple different ways and fashions so that you can then benefit from being in ventures. And that's the only thing you can take. Well, of course the schematics you already have, but this ventures is most definitely a bit of a playground for end game players but and is that where it ends i think that's where it is i think that's where it is um it's a wonderful concept it's a wonderful idea but it's terrible terrible horrible execution ventures is in a word boring 
it's a tedious grind on top of a regu already regular, incredible tedious, incredible tedious grind that we already have. It's a grind on grind. It's like it's like venture. It's like Fortnite or Epic said, "Hey, I heard you like grind. I look. I heard you like a grind. Here, I've got a grind on top of a grind. Ventures is that, and it could have been so much more. It, Ventures, the concept is wonderful. What it needed was, and on top of a lot of other things that it needed, but what it needed was the concept was great. It needed its own map that was just Ventures. It could have been a giant map. They could have used the old Battle Royale map in Save the World. Just, just done that. Drop the old Battle Royale map and make us run around that whole map. That could have been our entire Ventures. Give us unique missions that are only Ventures. A new scenario. And new missions yes i know that is a tall order it's a lot to ask for but it it could have been awesome and the grind oh the grind the grind could have been a little better if we would have had a unique area and unique missions to do them in but the grind the grind in itself that it takes you it took 40 hours, 40 to 60 hours to complete the first ventures it took 80 to 100 hours they practically doubled it. They doubled the time that it's going to take you to finish this ventures. And then we have to do this because we got to go guys. We got to go to our, uh, to here in the home base status report saying, uh, this week bundle up for the Winterfest Ventures season. And the only thing they've told us is note on Winterfest season. Thanks to your player feedback, the experience required to complete the season has been significantly reduced. What does that mean? Does that mean that it's going to take half the time? Does that mean it's going to take 20 hours? Is it going to go back to 40 hours? I don't know. Oh, and quick little thing, the powerhouse pack. Yes, I will be buying it. I was, you know, I was going to do a video guys. Uh, I was going to do a video where I was going to go through and I was going to talk about the previous one, which by the way, why the heck is it still there? It's telling you that it's leaving soon, but it's already gone anyway. Um, I, I was on the fence about buying it. I'm glad I didn't buy it. $16 for that for me is not worth it. It it's not. Now this is, I'm still not going to buy it though. I'm going to wait till it goes on sale. I did miss the sale in the other one, but you know what? I'm glad. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad because the, the fact that I, I missed it means that I can buy more chunky chew packs. Uh, for those of you who come to the stream, you you know what this is. You know what's going on. Um, if you'd like some more information, I encourage you come to a stream because uh, you are going to get to see something that's going to be happening very soon on my channel, uh, which actually you guys on stream or you guys on the videos are going to get to see this very soon as well. Uh, and there's more. There's a lot more where that came from. I have I have so much yeah so um yeah oh, i have these two so uh i i i am i'm actually happy now the 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 samurai pack only would buy maybe like three or four of these you know but still um i'm happy i'm happy i didn't get it because that means that i can afford more uh, Pokemon packs and uh, I can open up more cards and you guys are gonna see that soon on my channel and on the stream So if you like I said if you want more information come to the streams uh, I have a bunch of stuff to show people on stream. But anyway <laughs> Having said that having said that uh, I am gonna buy this one I'm gonna buy the powerhouse pack because a it looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous and B, I really want the, the shock rifle. Uh, it is a vendor tech weapon, and I actually do want to take a look at it and work on it. Um, so this one, I will get it. Not yet. I'm going to wait for it goes on sale. And this time when it goes on sale, you better believe I am going to buy it. I definitely will buy it. But that's for the future. Continuing. What's happening in this venture that is coming up? Uh, we've talked about this on stream. So those of you who have been to a stream, this is not going to be surprising to you, but the vent Winterfest venture modifier is going to be the powerful superhero modifier, which basically soldiers, constructors, ninjas, and outlanders are going to be able to do more damage with certain abilities. They're going to be a bit stronger. Um, 
And more importantly, the cooldowns. There's going to be reduced cooldowns for pretty much all of them. Now, why do I focus on the reduced cooldowns? Because actually, when it comes down to... Where is it? Uh, the one face tile. Is it down here? Do, 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 do. You know what? I forget where it was. We read it somewhere. Oh, yeah. So the crystallized winds of the winter also make husk more resistance to weapon and trap damage. Weapon and trap damage. So basically, all of this superhero modifier, all of this, guys, all of this. It doesn't matter because the husks are going to be more resistant. So all this extra damage is getting nullified by the extra resistance of resistance of the husks. The only thing they could have avoided saying all of this, getting us all hyped up and all excited. They could have just said, hey, by the way, uh, abilities are going to cool down faster. That's it. That's all. That's all we're getting from here. All of this right here is just to tell us that abilities are going to cool down faster. Now, is this good? Yes, because certain abilities are just going to be mwah, amazing in this. But yeah, am I excited for this? Of course I am. I am excited because I want to see what happens. I want to see what this venture brings us. I want to see where it goes because it it's it, it, it can be awesome. It can be really, really fun. Am I am I excited to take a look at all these heroes? Yes. I want to see what difference there, if there is a stark difference in the abilities of our heroes. And like I said before, too, um, we'll probably even this weekend, I'm going to be releasing a video of my favorite loadouts, weapons, and what weapons to look out for in ventures and what loadouts I recommend, just like I did last season, for this winter uh, is it called the winter ventures? Yeah. Winter fest ventures for the winter fest ventures. So there's going to be a video where I'm going to say, you know, the, the, the most powerful, like I did this one, the shotgunner and the Peluna. I didn't even use a shotgunner. I should have actually, cause shotguns are really powerful this season. Uh, but Peluna, I've just been using Peluna. There's going to be certain setups that I'm going to be like, if you need a setup, if you need one setup or two setups, here you go. Just focus on these setups. And apart from that, um, I do want to check around and see there's going to be several different loadouts. I want to make an outlander anti-material loadout that is actually going to do some major damage. Do you guys remember? You remember I talked about this already before that there was going to be an outlander that we were going to make that was going to be focused on extra damage. Hmm? 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 Yeah. Is he still in the shop actually? Uh, let me see if he's still in the shop. Yeah. Bloodfinder AC. Yeah. So basic. Uh, yeah. I talked about this. If you guys remember, I talked about this. I talked about making a loadout around Bloodfinder AC and the Outlander loadout here says Outlander some time for some punching looking at you Jess why Jess Bloodfinder AC is the guy to do it and material charge will have no cost during the ventures uh, for all you Teddy Slingers out there you'll benefit a free fragment for every 50 seconds so basically you're going to be able to farm non-stop with clip but if you want to do some damage with this you know this anti-material charge we're going to have to make a Bloodfinder AC build that's going to be iron knuckles 225 percent extra damage he's just going to punch non-stop so something like that this is going to be fun it's going to be fun the ninja constructor and soldier as well we're going to take a we're going to take a look at it we're going to see what happens because yeah i want to make a lot of fun loadouts we have tons of heroes at certain loadouts that we just don't even use anymore now to wrap this up i'm going to say this <coughs> excuse me excuse me oh <clears throat> about ventures um basically what's gonna happen or it took me a little while to understand this basically if you guys notice this venture season the reason why it's starting right away is because we're not going into a new season yet we're not going into a new version yet we're still in version 14 and battle royale is still going to be in version 14 for another month or so so we still have another four i think four or five weeks left or maybe more Maybe six weeks. We maybe we have my we might have like six weeks left of version 14 until we go into version 15. When we go into version 15, more than likely we are still going to be in the current ventures in the Winterfest ventures. We're probably not going to see a new Winterfest or sorry a new ventures or venture season four until sometime in late January or probably in February. So because of that, remember, we, un we are on completely different schedules than Battle Royale, which is why we just had a massive update, version 14.60, and they didn't do anything in Save the World. 
wait let me correct that they did fix the damage perk the damage glitch so that was good but then again they never told us in the patch notes that they had done it they don't let us know anything you know how it is but anyway anyway so rant done rant over uh basically am i excited for the new venture season yeah i want to see what happens and on paper all these cool things saying about all the things that we're going to be doing with the heroes and everything it sounds amazing it sounds like so much fun are they actually going to work are they going to be full of bugs are we going to spend two three four weeks with the anti-material charge thing not even working who knows the only person that knows is developer cloakstar and you all know what he says so i'm going to leave it there guys Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys come to the stream. I am very excited to be streaming with you guys and we're going to be hitting it hard. We're going to be hitting it hard. I'm going to be grinding away on ventures, trying to get to level 46 before it goes away. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DJ2. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor and have yourself a fantastic day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.